It's hard to believe that this is the 50th installment of the Keep an Eye on it. As exciting as we are to reach this milestone, it's also a testament to the number of developers working hard to create exciting new team-based games for all us to play. We're looking forward to all these games and more. Here's to number 50 with hope for 50 more. Let's go! A game with a name like this could honestly be anything, and as it turns out, Slopper Johnson Graviton Agent could be one of the most unique twists on roguelike deck buildings that we've yet seen. Your deck is assembled like a circuit board, and by connecting components, you can power and activate different effects. Gamers looking for something out of the ordinary should definitely have Slopper Johnson Graviton Agent on their wish list. The release date has not yet been announced, but we'll be marking our calendars when it is on Steam. The contestants need to get ready because here they come. Homicidal All Stars drops players in the middle of a dystopian cyberpunk blood sport. They've got the tools and the talent. The Omega Corporation hosts a hyper violent reality show full of guts and glory, and bounty hunter Scarlet Martillo has become a contestant in hopes of carrying out a personal vendetta. As Scarlet, players will need to survive the deadly challenges of the game while also killing opponents in sufficiently spectacular fashion to drive up ratings. Omega can change the rules mid match, so you'll always need to be on your toes. Of Players looking for loud, bloody action will be in for a threat when Homicidal All Stars launches, though exactly when that it hasn't yet been determined on Steam and GOG. Crystal Compulsion is being made by solo developer Jan Labrie and features latest spire style combat with anthropomorphic heroes and villains. You can slay your opponents just like most games in the genre, but Crystal Compulsion also lets you convert them to your side or even devour them to gain new abilities. The variety of playstyle combined with the game's deck building mechanics should allow for lots of builds to try. No release date has been set, so keep your fingers crossed for a demo in the meantime on Steam. Green Boons is a side-scrolling base builder with turn-based battles. The game's setting and story feels like they came straight from the legends of Robin Hood. As an exiled thief, you and your followers build an encampment in the woods and gather resources to strike back at the corrupt throne. Green Boons looks like it will have laid-back gameplay and exploration along with plenty of secrets to discover throughout the forest. Players can try it for themselves fairly soon. The game is scheduled to release on the 25th of August 2022 on Steam. With equal parts, action and mystery, Mato Anomalies is a promising RPG. Statistically, the game looks like what would happen if Shin Megami Tensei went full cyberpunk. While the game uses more of a traditional adventuring party, instead of catching demons like in Shin Megami Tensei, there are still plenty of twists in Mato Anomalies combat to entice even the most jaded JRPG fan. The entire team shares an HP pool, so normal strategies may not be as effective as they would be in other games. Mato Anomalies will certainly be worth checking out when it arrives, though no release date is currently list. On Steam. Jupiter Moons is a mecha deck builder. Your mech's components provide cards for your deck as well as persistent effects, but each card is linked to a specific body part. If your mech loses a limp, the cards associated with it are unusable for the rest of the battle. From what we've seen so far, the game is presented with both style and fun. The mech combat animations are crisp and well done, and tiny details like a peony tree air freshener in the cockpit make it clear that Jupiter Moons doesn't take itself too seriously. 
them is available to play now, with the full version expected before the next Jovian here. Uh, here on Jupiter is just under 12 Earth years, so hopefully the devs are just being playful. On Steam. Neon Light Studios, a quest that became a legend, merges old-school gameplay with modern graphics. This first-person party-based RPG will make veterans of the Might and Magic series feel right at home. The monsters and environments are a sight to behold, and details like skeletons glowing eye or the sheer size of giants and ogres bring classic fantasy to life. A quest that became legend is expected to launch in early 2023 on Steam. There are countless games about soldiers in the field. Full Metal Surgeon could technically be a prequel to all of them, putting players in charge of a boot camp. You have 12 weeks to train your recruits, however, you see fit and get them ready for combat. Soldiers who excel in training will go on to become specialists in the army, increasing the prestige of your camp. Of course, it's also possible to push your recruits too far with unexpected results. Full Metal Surgeon is expected to launch in late 2022 on Steam. 47 years ago. Earth's orbit was altered, putting the planet in a collision course with the sun. Dim Day Red is an interactive action title that uses the engine from the Apocalypse World's tabletop RPG. Developing your character's personality from a deck of traits, your success or failure will depend on your choices and the look of the dice. The game takes place on an Earth that is getting closer to the Sun with each passing day, setting the world on an inevitable curse of for destruction. What your Carter does with the last days of human civilization is up to you. There's no release date yet, but players who like games where choices matter will want to wishlist Dim Day Red on Steam. Long, long ago, before history, before legend. The RPG companion to indie fighting game Rivals of Aether, Dungeons of Aether let players enjoy the setting in a whole new way. With a party of four unique adventurers, players will delve dungeons in search of treasure. The combat system lets players draft dice each round, constantly changing the flow of battle and the options available. Combat animations in Dungeons of Aether are just as sleek as those in Rivals, making the game's battles really stand out. Whether you are a fan of the original game or just like dungeon crawlers, Dungeons of Aether will be one to try when it releases on the 25th of October 2022 on Steam. This video ends here, let me know what you think about these games in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through all our pages. Wish you the best, ciao!